So Sheila, we know that the importance of networking, even before searching for a job, that's what I tell my students now, while you are at, at the university, you network, you put the seed, you ask for informative uh, meetings, how was your job journey? What did you learn? What do you, you want me to recommend? But still, for some people's networking is a difficult time, especially now that we are back to in-person and not virtual. So how yes. can you be prepared for a networking and how this networking is going to help me find a job? Absolutely. And it, you're right. LinkedIn is probably the biggest part of 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 your job search yes. in 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 on or pardon me in my hired book i drastically expanded the chapter on social media in particular linkedin so here's the tips on linkedin you need to have a photo it doesn't mm -hmm. have to you don't have to go to a studio take a nice selfie but you need a picture anytime i see a profile without a picture i think i wonder why yeah. so take a picture your profile history needs to look almost like you're almost identical to your resume in terms of the jobs yes. so you can't if they, if there are two of them don't look the same mm, i'm going to i'm i'm going to wonder mm -hmm. so you need to make sure that your profile is complete and then start to reach out and ask for connections and it, so there's a whole chapter on how to how to expand connections mm -hmm. but being present on LinkedIn, make sure that your contact details are open. I always find it humorous when job seekers are, are they have closed profiles and there's no email address, there's no phone number. You want to be easy to be found. So a lot of recruiters, we do when we're looking for candidates, we're looking, the first place we go is, is on LinkedIn. Yes. So yes. you need one, you need to be there. Then if you if you're new to LinkedIn, then start to build your network. Think about classmates, teachers, um, they don't and and from um, yeah. Yeah, from Canada, from abroad. So look at the people that are part of your network uh, that that you want that you already know, and then start to start to be a bit more visible. I wrote a blog about uh, about people being terrified to be visible on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So there's a full chapter on how to do that as well. Like posts, share posts, reach out to people that you do that you do want to to yes. meet with. And always attach a note. It's easy just to hit the button without it, without a, a just a, a greeting. Yeah. Add that greeting. Always customize when sending LinkedIn requests. Absolutely, absolutely, and and it is okay to reach out to people that you may not know, but you don't know. But as long as you have a reason, I I've been following your organization. I'm very interested in in the work that your company does, mm -hmm. and never try to close a deal on when you send an invitation, you know, hi, hi, Sheila, I'm looking for a job. Please, please. That, it's my don't, resume. Help me don't do that. You, like, it's like asking someone on a date when you match on a dating website, yeah. don't do it. So you need to build that out. Mm -hmm. Now, also in my second book, Unexpected Mentors, I also in there write, wrote a full section on finding, finding mini mentor moments. Mm -hmm. So I know that lots of advice is given to say you know reach out to industry leaders and you know ask them for a coffee meeting or and yes. I say that the odds of getting getting that coffee meeting are very low mm -hmm. we're all busy, busy. so yes. rather ask for ask for a nugget of advice in an email or in a in an email or through LinkedIn yes. so yes. you could ask a hiring manager what um, what are the top three things you're looking for in your organization I've applied so don't ask for those grand big uh, events for networking like I'd love to take you pick your brain over coffee that's a whole chapter yes. in unexpected mentors on why that's a bad idea so use use LinkedIn in as as a as a one of the many tools uh as we talked before we started recording you're holding a job fair look at those companies get business cards of people connect with them on linkedin after the after the fair but again only send your resume if if there's an opportunity or if you're invited do you recommend job seekers when they saw a job on linkedin i tell them follow the company go to yeah. their content, interact with their content, maybe find someone similar with the same title because recruiters and hiring managers are busy. They are bombarded with similar requests. Do you recommend yes. to reach out to the recruiter or hiring manager, say, hey, I applied to this role and 
what they, they should do, or is there, they should not reach out to the recruiter, reach out to maybe someone with similar job title and ask for an info meeting, and then maybe a referral can be also a benefit. Yeah, so that's a, definitely reaching out to to a colleague who may be in a maybe in the similar position. Yes. Certainly, that's that's one to definitely to do. But again, the info meetings probably are not going to be mm -hmm. accepted because they take too much time. Mm -hmm. So it could be connect and connect on LinkedIn, then send them a DM through mm -hmm. LinkedIn to say, "Great, thanks so much for connecting with me." I'm really interested in joining your organization. I see from your LinkedIn profile, you've been with the company for three years in a similar, in the position I'm interested in. Might you have a nugget? And that was a, a wording I have in my second book. Might you have a nugget of wisdom on how I can, can be successful in, in getting hired on by the company? Mm. So something like that, or... Might you, you know, might you have any words of wisdom on how um, how I can get my application noticed with with HR? So just ask for that that small mm -hmm. yet yeah. some but, something that is easy for that person to reply to. Those are great tips, Sheila. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, leave them below and tune in next time for my final question with Sheila.